Hi, welcome. Now I am going to show you how to solve uh, integer programming problem in Excel. Okay, in this example, I am using solver to solve the uh, this uh, problem. Okay, so now uh, I have the problem here. My problem is maximize 240x plus 4 160y. Constraints are uh, 6x plus 5y is less than or equal to 40 and uh, uh, 200x plus 100y e less than or equal to 1000 and uh, xy or uh, positive integers okay now uh, how to solve this problem in excel okay i can use solver to solve the problem but before that any any linear programming problem you want to solve it in excel uh, the the fa the success comes first how you uh, how you write the uh, or uh, represent the problem into the worksheet properly okay that is our first step okay for that I usually I try to keep a um, very general template for all the ALP problems okay but uh, it is not necessary to keep it in that way that uh, uh, you can grab the idea from my worksheet and uh, do it in whichever way is uh, easier for you but uh, if you simply follow my way also um, the my template was also more or less uh, simple to understand okay so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, for any given problem we are going to uh, we are going to find uh, the values for X and Y so first uh, you keep that X and Y so always you put uh, variables okay x y okay if you have uh, if you have 10 variables you put uh, 10 uh, x and y's uh, 10 uh, variable names or you have uh, three variables x y z you put x y z in our case it is only x and y so always you uh, put the variables first okay so uh, but uh, this one what I put here is X and Y is just a labels to tell you that uh, this this cell is X and this is Y so actual value is going to be here okay this is only the labels okay uh, so uh, what I do is uh, labels X and Y but the actual value of the variables variables okay okay this two questions what I am uh, is going to uh, or I will put the variable label variable so that you won't be confused okay. uh, variable labels and uh, this the actual values uh, uh, Excel is going to solve it for us these two cells but uh, what happens before that we just put a zero here we put uh, some seed value or the initial value for this program uh, for this program to start with okay so it is variables uh, 0 x is 0 and y is 0 in the initially okay now what I'm going to do is uh, these two values are going to be found okay and uh, this is the thing. okay now uh, this is the header okay now what uh, uh, after variables you move on to objective function function okay what is your objective function your objective function is 240 into x okay 240 into x this is just a label this is the actual value so 240 so you put uh, objective functions coefficient here x coefficient is 240 and uh, y coefficient is 160 okay this is your objective function objective function and uh, just uh, keep it a uh, different colors so that uh, uh, you will 
no differentiate when we are doing something okay light uh, color probably okay this is uh, objective function okay now uh, what is the objective function full value actually it is the 240 into x is value of x plus 160 into variable value okay value of y this is the value for initial initial uh, initial value for this is the objective function okay this is the value we are going to maximize okay according to changing variables here okay so this is the value we need to maximize so what we are going to do we are going to maximize this value okay this is our objective and uh, this is our objective and uh, this the value is going to be maximized okay so uh, we have finished our objective function before that uh, you see here what we are doing here is uh, we keep uh, product uh, doing the product of two cells respective cells and adding it okay if it is uh, only um, two or three variables you can do it very easily okay and if it is uh, you are doing hundreds of variables to optimize then it is the thing is that you keep writing this uh, 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 this sum of these products okay for that uh, usually we use the function okay some product and give uh, array each column okay first uh, i give the coefficients and the variable values okay whenever uh, excel gives functions to use it and uh, use it if uh, respective function is available why not okay so uh, give the c2 to c3 and b2 to b3 this is nothing but the same thing what we have done before uh, shown you the products then summing up the products in uh, symbols uh, products using star and plus in between to sum instead i am using the two arrays and uh, putting the sum product and this will do this value into this this value into this something like that okay and uh, submit the same thing okay okay fine now what uh, we are going to do is we are going to put the constraints we have two constraints constraint one and constraint two and uh, constraint two okay what is our uh, constraints here okay the first constraint what is the uh, thing 6 is the x coefficient and uh, here 6 and 5 okay first we have finished the objective function 240 and 160 now 6 and 5 6 5 okay what is the left hand side value will come it is 6 into variable x 5 into variable y value okay but uh, instead of doing that I already told how to do the sum product function use the same thing here sum product of constraint 1 coefficients and uh, the variables set enter ok this is our left hand side of the constraint 1 ok what is the right hand side of the constraint 1 is 40 ok this is left hand side this is right hand side ok so uh, you can uh, just uh, give a uh, 40 and uh, this is the thing 
you are you you are going to satisfy this constraint okay okay similarly for constraint 2 200 100 okay the, what is the left hand side value of this equal to some product of coefficient values comma objective function uh, I'm sorry not objective variables also zero everything is zero because our initial value of variables are zero okay and uh, what is the you can see what is the right hand side of the second constraint which is thousand you see the our uh, our uh, our problem has been uh, uh, put into the excel sheet properly okay so now problem is uh, already formulated into the excel sheet now we are going to solve it okay how we are going to solve it we are going to use this solver okay we are going to use the solver wizard okay where is the solver actually it is in data I, it, it, there is a group called analyze here and it will give you the solver but uh, you see in your excel do you have the uh, this is a add, add in okay in data do you have a solver add in no okay if that is the case you go file go to file options okay go to add ins add ins go to solver do you have a solver yes go here manage uh, excel add-ins go okay then it will pop up all the add-ins available go to this solver add-in click ticket and okay then you can see the your uh, solver add-in is added into your data tab the group called analyze okay so I am going to use the solver now ok and uh, uh, remember this is the integer programming and uh, your values of x and y are integers in ordinary LP you can say it is x and y are greater than or equal to 0 but in this case it is integers ok how we are going to use uh, solver to solve the problem ok I go and uh, open solver okay it pop up with objective cell must be single cell on the active set this means I already used the solver for other problems so it is keeping some values there so it is popping out this message you don't worry about this message you won't get it if you get it also just put ok and uh, reset the wizard first okay you reset all okay now it is fine you can see the close solver see no message okay you go here now what you are going to do is you are going to put uh, the set objective what is our objective okay our objective is 240x plus 160y and maximize okay so maximize is the function uh, the objective we are doing to maximize okay fine it's maximize okay what is the objective 240 plus 160 which is this cell we already calculated this this value here to this cell so you no need to confuse here to hey how can i add 240 into x plus no no you just click on one cell here okay because this cell already we calculated 240 into the variable value 160 into the variable value okay this the cell and uh, now you select whether you want to maximize or minimize or uh, for a particular value no we are going to maximize okay now what is changing variable cells by changing variable cells what is the changing variable cells this is the variables you are going asking us all to find 
okay this is the variables used in iteration or every uh, every methods different uh, way of finding the solutions okay this is the cell to be solved okay this two okay so this supposed to be this two cell x and y not this two cell this is just to identification labels okay x and y labels okay and now now we are going to add uh, constraints what is the constraint okay before that what we are going to do we need to using a uh, three methods are here we are going to use simplex lp okay since it is integer programming i am using a lp to solve okay you can see here uh, uh, grg is select uh, grg non-linear for engine for uh, solver problems that are smooth non-linear select lp simplex engine for linear solver problems and the evolutionary engine for solver problems that are not smooth okay this is the simplex lp okay now i'm going to add the constraints so how to add constraints add okay what is the uh, constraints my constraints first constraint 6x plus 5y is less than or equal to 40 which is first i'll add the left hand side which is nothing but this cell why this cell why not a 6x uh, no you are not doing anything here we are just uh, pressing the calculated value because we have already done the left hand side here okay now currently it is zero but uh, this is the value okay this value is less than or equal to right hand side value is already i have written here 40 okay add this constraint again go to the next constraint left hand side is this value this is nothing but a sum product of coefficients and variables already okay and the value is thousand which is already we put it here on the right hand side of second constraint and uh, okay now let's go and uh, see what all the constraints are added here but we need to add one more constraint which is x and y or positive integers okay so for that first we need to say they are positive okay these two are positive right so yes sorry it's subjective function is this okay uh, we need to add the po positive so enter uh, what we need to do is this variable we need to say x variab variable is greater than or equal to 0 and uh, then y and uh, y y is greater than 0 ok instead what we can do we can just uh, simply put the range ok these two variables or greater than or equal to 0 and uh, this one I added now you see it is added yes instead of one by one variable i just put the range okay similarly we need to do integer part of it how to do the integer part of it it is not only positive it has to be integer okay so uh, again i select these two variables you can very well add one by one variable i am just adding the range it's also similar to uh, simplifying instead of adding one by one just uh, uh, adding the range okay this range is having the first cell having x value and second cell have the y value okay these two and uh, you have to select integer here int is integer bin is uh, 0 and 1 so diff difference is all different you want a different value for example you you use it for um, uh, the salesman problem the TSP problems so you it has to be different but uh, in this case it's integer okay you see this range is integer 
okay these two variables or you can very well say uh, b2 is integer then b3 is integer instead i put uh, the full range okay now uh, we have set it up everything properly now we can uh, just check the objective function is proper uh, this is the cell object c4 okay we will solve it now press solve it run okay it is telling okay solver found an integer solution within tolerance within the constraint all constraints are satisfied so i also need a report i just put a report outline reports okay you see the variables are solved variable x is 3 and variable y is 4 maximizing the objective function gives 1360 that is the value for uh, this objective function constraint 1 is also solved constraint 2 is also um, uh, is uh, also uh, obeyed this is the 1000 thousand this is 38 which is less than 40 okay then uh, you can also see the report what is the report a report says what is the objective function value then uh, what is the x and y values this reports you can go through and see what happened while uh, solver solving the problem and what is the final results okay you you see here it is three and four and uh, the value is 1360 and uh, the variable values are uh, x is e equal to 3 and y is also uh, y is equal to 4 which are all integers okay for the fun purpo purpose of it we will just remove the uh, the integer part of the solution and see what happens it will the the maximize value is still objective function improves uh, okay so I just duplicate the sheet here this one this the actual integer programming sheet this is the we are doing something just uh, simply LP okay I just remove this part not integer just a pulse what happens okay I just remove the integer part okay the other constraints remains let's solve and see what is happening you see the value is fractional value of 2.5 and y value 5 gives uh, better uh, better value for the objective function thousand 400 and both constraints are solved exactly 40 and 1000 and 1400 maximum value is 1400 but when you restrict this one to integer the maximum value you can go for 1360 40 is lacking uh, you see this is 40 1400 for ordinary LP for the positive integers 1360 because it we are resting this one restricting this one to integers the objective value is also restricted is less li little bit less when we maximize okay which is our usual scenarios okay and this is the actual value for our integer programming problem okay this is 1360 this is the way you can solve uh, any 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 problems uh, uh, for LP or uh, integer programming problems and uh, use the solver after you you use the solver you can also remove the solver using the same way go to option add-ins uh, go and uh, remove the solver add-in because 
uh, what happens uh, you keep the uh, this solver add in it takes more time to solve uh, to save the excel file okay and when you open also it takes time so w only when you want this solver to solve the problem solve it and uh, remove the add in or if you are okay with the timing it's never mind you just leave it okay i hope this video is helpful to you if you like my videos just press like and uh, also uh, subscribe to my channels and uh, uh, you leave any comments or uh, your suggestions or the problems you want to solve i'll try to solve it okay uh, hope uh, you like my videos have a great day. Bye.